Hey guys, so today this topic is going to be a little bit different because we're going to be talking about education and the education system and basically, uh, so if you guys, you guys who have been with me for a little while, you know that I previously was a full-time teacher in high school, I taught high school math actually of all things, and high school English and I taught all kinds of different things really, but <sighs> Over the course of many, many years in education as a teacher and as a student and all of that, I learned and the reason that I went off and I started this business that I have now is because our education system here in the state, it doesn't work. and. It doesn't work for everyone, right? It didn't work for me. It doesn't work for many, many people. And I'm, at, I'm really excited actually to see where we're gonna go over these next few months because, you know, all of the changes in education and the world, like all of the, you know, we're about to, we're going into just a, a huge education reform and all of that. And I think think we're going to see some really good things, especially with shifts to more online learning and to like more small, um, into like smaller groups and to all of that. So I think we're going to be in a good place, but mm, you guys got my coffee here too. We're about to get into it. Okay. So, okay. All right. So here's how it's going to go down right so the education system here's the way i think about it and i mean, think we're like crooked are we crooked here okay so here's the way i think about it it's basically like we have this structure right we have uh and i'm referring to i'm in california i've gone through the education system here kindergarten through college through i've done cal state uc i've done private i've done all of them so all of California schools is my background, what I'm coming from. If you're somewhere else, it might be different, but this is where I am and what I know and what I've experienced. Okay, so the education system. All right, so we've got the elementary school part, and we're just gonna go through. We're just gonna, we're just we're gonna get into it. So we've got this whole system, right? We go through and we have our schooling. Like we've got these big classes and like. Even even at that young, like even when you started kindergarten, you've got like 20 to 30 kids and then you go up and you've got 40 and then, you know, in college and you guys, that's a whole different thing. So the education system and why I've moved away from it and why what I'm doing right now is basically I am creating my own education system through my business so if you've seen my blog like intro and all of that you've seen that like I love education I absolutely love it I love learning I love teaching I love to learn I just love knowledge and education but I oh our education system oh <sighs> okay where do i even begin so our education system i really believe that the problem is not necessarily in the it is in the system itself it is in the class sizes it is in the way that we teach and the way all of that but what it really comes down to, what learning really, really, really comes down to is the individual doing the learning, right? So the students, of course, the students and their family and their value of education, all of those. And I think that the reason our education system is failing right now is because we are not instilling these values into our kids and into you know our communities and all of that with 
these students that like you need to go to school or whether it's on it doesn't matter if it's online with wherever it is but like you need to go to school you need to learn like you don't we don't have to be disciplinarians over here like i'm not saying that at all but we need to have more value in education like when we send our kids to school we need to be sending them seeing like you know you're going to go you're going to do the best that you can you're going to push forward you're going to do all of these things we need to really just drive those values into our kids from a community standpoint so what i think is that the education system it is not the curriculum that's the issue it's not the teachers that are the like yes there's always always, always ways that you can improve in all of these things but i think that you can learn from any curriculum, any book, any teacher, any anything. You know, there's different qualities of all of that. But what I really, really, really believe is that it comes down to the student. It comes down to the motivation. It comes down to the persistence. It comes down to the work ethic. And that comes from the family, that comes from the community, it comes from support. So what I believe is that if we want to improve our education system, what we need to do is be working on those family and community understandings of education. We need to teach that, especially now, we need to teach our families how to teach, right? Because so many, especially like, you know, they're out, but so many parents are at home like, trying to teach their own kids right now. And I think that the issue is not how do i get this curriculum like into their head no the issue is how do i teach these kids how to learn how do i show them that this is valuable that they have an extraordinary opportunity to be going to school every day to be uh, to have access to these teachers to have this education system and how do I teach them to use all of these resources that they have? Because we do not have a lack of resources over here in California in our uh, school system. Like, yes, 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 yes. I'm not saying that, um, you know, I'm not saying at all that some school districts in some areas don't have more or fewer resources. That is completely true. But you can learn regardless of whether you have you know, the newest curriculum, the newest textbook, the newest computer, right? Because we have resources, we have library, we have, you know, maybe not right now, but we have, you know, if you look for it, like if you really, really, really decide, hey, I'm gonna learn, this is important to me, there is nothing that's gonna stop you from learning. Here in, you know, when, like in this country, there is, there's just no excuse for, not learning for not succeeding other than that if it's just not important to you and that's really what it comes down to is really those values centered around education because what i've seen as a teacher and there's so many times when it's just like okay we need to teach it a different way. We need to change the seating structure. We need to change the curriculum. We need to change this. We need to change that. It's like, no, 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 no. We don't need to change all these things. What we need to change is the mindset of our, our students, our faculty, whatever it is. What we need to change is... <sighs> <laughs> I get really into this topic in case you haven't noticed, but <clears throat> excuse me. <sighs> what we need to change is how we perceive education, is how we perceive what we have and how we can use it and acknowledging that, hey, I've got everything that I need to be successful. I just need to use it. And because the number of times that I've gone into a classroom and <sighs> as a teacher, as a substitute, as an observer, as anything, as an assistant, whatever it is, you name it. And the students that are successful, they are not successful because they are smarter than everyone else. 
yes, some people have higher or lower intelligence than whoever else. That's true. But you do not have to be the most intelligent person there to be successful. I am not the most intelligent person in my world, in the classes I've taken, in all of that. What it really, really comes down to is how hard you work at it. So, so many times in these classes, I just see, doesn't matter whether it's been in elementary school, middle school, in high school, whatever it is, there's the students who go in and they say, I'm gonna learn. Like they go in and they have this mentality of, I can do this, I've gotta do the work, I've gotta take my notes, I've gotta study, I've gotta ask questions. Those are the students that learn. This is what we need to be teaching our community, not throwing more and more and more curriculum at them. We need to be teaching them how to learn because if they learn these skills about how to learn, not only are they going to be successful in education and they're going to be like, they're going to be successful in their lives and they're going to be like, <sighs> could you just imagine if we had a world of people, even just a small community of people who were motivated to learn, who believed in their abilities, who, you know, who just knew that they could be successful and that they would create things and just knew that, like, education is important and that they can achieve these things and that success in a school doesn't look like you know, getting all of the attention or whatever it is, like all of those behaviors that are acting out, if we could create that community where people, where these kids saw that, like, oh, what is successful, like what is, you know, the ideal, what I want to aspire to be is someone who is educated, someone who, you know, does well, someone who has a good job, someone who uh, can actually make a living and support themselves and, all of these things. So what we really need right now is not another system. We do not need another system, another curriculum, another teaching credentialing program. We need to, we need to teach from a place of teaching how to learn. We need to teach from a place of you have all of these resources already. Like, yes, teachers are, it's, it's you know incredible that we have teachers who are specialists in all of these fields, but the way that we can really, really, really be getting the most out of our education when we send our kids to school is not by just saying like, go and get all of this knowledge from your teacher about math or about science or about this, about whatever, the way that we can really be making the most out of our resources is by teaching them how to learn so that they can access all of these resources that they have already online, like this video online, like go on YouTube, go on websites, go on wherever it is, that knowledge is out there. And yes, your teacher is a specialist, like yes, you should be going to your teacher with questions, but when you do your own work to do that, to study, to say, oh, I need to learn about this. Like, I know that how I need to learn is by doing research, is by asking questions, is by taking my notes, is by, you know, problem solving, all these things. Then you can go to your teacher and say, hey, I was trying to do this math problem and I just got stuck here. I don't know what I'm doing. Can you help me? That's where the real learning happens. And that's how you really get the most out of working with a professional is that you are not going to them saying, okay, teach me. Mm -mm. No, you're going to them saying, hey, I did my work. I have this question. Can you now help me with this? Or you're going to them and saying, I need help. Like I need help getting started. Can you please like, I don't know what to do. Can you help me? And then maybe your teacher will say like, okay, yeah, go um, read this, do these exercises, do this. And then you go and you do those and you come back and you say, oh yeah, like this was great. It made me think about this. It, when I did this, I had this question. That's where the learning happens, you guys. That's how we should be using our teachers as resources. Not by just going and like listening and all of like things that can be recorded. 
if it can be recorded, record it. If it can be put in a book, put it in a book. What we cannot put in a book or record is that communication aspect that this is my question, can you guide me? That's how we should be using our teachers as resources. So, how does this all tie into what I'm doing here on this channel? Well, I'm creating my own education system. I'm creating a program that does this. I have a program that does this. My coaching program is the ultimate teaching program. I mean, this is, this is not even a sales pitch. This is just like what I was trying to do in my classroom. I realized that, hey, there's a place for this. It's within a coaching program like this. And it can definitely be replicated. Like it can be done in online education. It can be done in a classroom. But essentially, yeah, I teach my students, my clients, I teach them how to learn. I teach them how to ask these questions. I teach them how to do their research, how to, you know, go through assignments, like how to manage their schedules, how to do all of these skills and their reading and writing and speaking and listening because those skills are the core of every single subject out there. What we're doing right now, speaking. When you go into class, you're listening, you know, when you're reading and writing, when you're doing math problems, you're writing, when you're taking notes for math, you write science, whatever it is, you're writing, you're reading. Those skills are the core of all learning, of all language, of all of academics. And this is why I'm so passionate about what I do now, because our education system needs a lot of work. It definitely like we have the resources, you know, we have teachers, we have programs, we have all of those things. We just need to use them more effectively. And, you know, we need to, that's what this comes down to is the way that I am teaching, the way that I say to use teachers as resources, not only will this be a more effective system, but it will be cheaper and more accessible to classes because if we're not spending, if teachers aren't spending all of their time just going through and like explaining every single concept because look at all the resources out there. Like look at, um, you know, there's videos, there's YouTube, there's like Khan Academy, there's all kinds of sites out there where all of that stuff is done. We shouldn't be doing things that are already done. We should be using resources that are there and teaching people how to access those resources. And if we did that, now we can spend our time working like we would have time to work with these students on a more individual basis even if we have a hundred students like yeah it's not going to be like a coaching program like what i do because that's you know like an intensive one-on-one -on -one program and it's more like a private school level of you know but we still could as teachers have that because if we, especially at the higher grade levels at like the high school level completely could do it you know, they have their computers, they have their courses all set up online, they can go through them and then we can support them. We can teach them how to learn because that's what they're really going to get that's valuable out of their education, right? How many times have you heard like, oh, when am I gonna use math in my, I mean, I've been a math teacher, right? How many, how many times, when am I gonna use this? What you're going to use is the skills of reading, writing, speaking, listening, right? That go into everything, into your research, into being able to solve problems, being able to think for yourself, being able to decide like, oh, this is good, this makes sense. This is, you know, being like financially responsible, being, you know, being able to do that basic, that math to determine your finances, your business, your school, your whatever it is. We could be teaching much more valuable skills if we use all the resources that are out there. So, that's the point of this. <laughs> it's like, that's what I wanted to get across to you guys is just that don't feel like just because our education system is set up in a particular way, which right now it's really not set up in a particular way. It's kind of all over the place. We're trying to figure out, you know, what's happening next. So maybe this video will get out there and <sighs> someone will get something from it. And uh, <laughs> I know my ideas are a little different, but if you, they're really, they're really not like, 
when I studied the Common Core curriculum and all of that, like this all came from that, all of that integrated approach and that teaching how to learn and all of that, like that's really what they're trying to get out, it's like to get out of it. It's just a matter of actually putting it together and actually doing it and getting organized and getting it together, you guys. So yeah, that's my spiel on education. I will see you guys uh, back here next time.